What's up guys? It's Christian from Brass Gaming here. And I know we've gone a little while without uploading a video. And, well, hopefully this will tide you over until we can get another episode going. We've got some fundamental changes we're making to the way we do videos. And, well, we just wanted to do a quick box opening. Uh, I'm experimenting with some angles, so forgive me if this isn't the greatest angle to be looking at the... Uh, at the uh, booster box, but we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So here we go. All right, well, 36 packs in this box does in fact have a box topper, which we'll save that for last. Look at that on top there. Got the gorilla and a couple of the porky parrots or whatever it is. I don't remember what that one's called. Forget me here. Let me see if I can't zoom out on this a little bit. Okay, so it looks like this is as close as we're getting. It's the first pack. We'll skip over most of the commons. I don't think there's anything super exciting. It's picking up some kind of weird... Hopefully the camera's picking this up all right. Um, hmm. Oh, wow. Rael, the first card of the pack is a mythic. Uh, we were just talking about this with my friends today. A uh, really exciting mythic. Has some potential for some high-powered commander. And our foil rare is a companion. Uh, Kyria, the orphan guard. Interesting. So we'll put foils up there. Alright, so we'll try to keep this moving along. Oh, our first uh, special art card, Hot Master Liger. And Mythos of Snapdax. Really sweet art. I think it's by Seb McKinnon. Yeah, really sweet art. And a Cavern Whisperer Mutate Common Foil. Prickly Marmoset, so I was wrong. Not quite as good. Down to the uncommons. Oh, a Trium. Okay, so we got the Timur Trium here. Pretty good. I'm looking forward to getting a, some of those for my commander decks. So I kind of kind of bend down, so I'm gonna bring packs up to open them. This is that kind of a low angle, killing my back. On commons, Skycat Sovereign, huh? One one two drop, flying gets plus one for each other creature. Oh, okay, so like flying tribal kind of. It would have been kind of cool. If they would have put the triomes uh, at like in the the one land slot at the end of the pack, um, I think that would have been pretty cool. But nonetheless, can we talk about this artwork? Really cool. Oh, that's really sweet. Cloud Piercer. That's really really sweet. And sorry if I'm heavy breathing, guys. It's really really hot in this room right now. It's been hot in Michigan the past few days. Majestic Aricorn. Oh, wow. Even though that's, I think, financially the worst one, that art is still sick. Snap decks for our second mythic. The Foil Sandworm. Oh, 
out of this set. I mainly want a Canon, but if I don't get one, it's not a big deal because I have one coming in the mail. Uh, okay. Monstrous step there. Death's Oasis. Interesting card. Really interesting card. I'll leave it there so you can read it. Really interesting card. Hornbash Mentor. Dranith Magistrate. This is just a Stax Lover. Such a good card. Combos with stuff like Knowledge Pool and such. Oh, God. Such a good card. See if I can sit down. Lava Brink Venture. I haven't even seen this card. Xanar's Battlefield. Choose odd or even. Zero is even. It is protected from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. Ha. Huh. Bad card's bad. I mean, what can I say? You can't win them all, and booster boxes are notorious for losing. I mean, I got probably two of the worst mythics, if I'm being quite honest so far. Ruinous Ultimatum. One of the, so they finished the Ultimatum cycle in this set. Most of them are pretty good. Well, okay. By pretty good, I mean they're commander playable. Um, this is pretty decent for for this color combination. Uh, Mardu destroys all nine land permanents your opponent's control. Overall, just a decent guard. Uh, my favorite is Eerie Ultimatum. I actually need it for a commander deck I'm building. Uh, let me turn a fan on. I hope it doesn't affect the audio too bad, but I am burning up in here. One moment. Okay, that should help. The Ozolith. I got this in my bundle. Um, I needed it for my Cathrol deck. Uh, really cool card. Don't know if it'll have any impact in Standard or not, but overall pretty good card. Let me adjust this a little bit. Okay, we got, uh, no. Phoenix are one of those things that, they're always pretty bad, to be honest, like, I'm not excited for this, like, this is, I mean, meh, meh, don't care, not excited for it. Let's just hope there's something sweet in that box topper. C Dash or Octopus. This is a really good card. Uh, two mana for flat or two mana to mutate, three mana to play with flash. Remember this Christian Jell's common damage to a player draw card? Wow. Really powerful to be able to uh, do that at uh, instant speed. So strong. Now we got Porky Parrot as our foil uncommon. Excuse my hairy arm. And now I'm dropping booster packs. Oh, great. Uh, 
can see we're at the 10 minute mark. I'm gonna try to go through this as fast as I can. Shark Typhoon, another pretty mediocre card. Um, six mana on it's quite a bit. I mean, I guess the cycling's okay for the Timeless Wisdom or Timeless at uh, the Timeless Wisdom deck, but I'm uh, not excited about this either. Hey, that's a pretty foil basic swamp. Gyruda. This guy, oh, he's sweet. Four colorless, two blue, or a blue-black hybrid, blue-black hybrid for a companion. Your star deck contains only cards with even CMC. When Gyruda enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard, put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. I've seen a sweet pioneer deck with this that ran stuff like Clone and Spark Double just to keep making Gyrudas and such. Oh, Super, he's my favorite companion by far. Super cool card. Ah, bad card, Labyrinth Raptor. Black, red, menace. Whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it, and the creature controlled with menace get plus one plus zero for a black and a red. Bad card. Seems like I have a I'm having a pattern of hitting uh, pretty much all the cards that don't make money in this booster box. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess that's why the professor says just buy the singles, but. I really wanted to upload something to the channel. But yeah, this has been pretty mediocre uh, booster box of Ikoria. Uh, Mike, our director, opened a box earlier when I was when I was I was watching him and he uh, pulled two Kinnons and pulled two Brokosis. And Brokosis isn't a lot, but two Kinnons is a lot. Crystalline Giant, another bad card, and I'm gonna go over it. These crystals are pretty cool. Um, the cycling and they fix your man a little bit. If I when I play casual EDH, I love putting those type of cards on my deck. Oh, cool! Dreamtail Heron. That's pretty cool. Moloch, Sprite Dragon, Dirge Bat. I mean, this card's okay. Two colorless, black, black, or four colorless, black, to mutate, flash flying. When this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker on opponent controls. I mean, it's like repeatable hero's downfall, I guess. Like, meh, I don't want to go on a mutate at all. So, not excited for that. Come on, need at least, you have to give us at least a decent mythic, like we can't go out with Snap Decks and Ryel. Uh, the store I got this at, guys, was uh, Great Escape Gaming and Flint. Um, ended up pre-ordering, drove out there today to get it, they're doing curbside service. Really sweet shop, you should check them out if you're in the Flint area. Dust Oasis, again. Cool card by that. Oh, okay. Auspicious Sterex. Uh, foil. I'm not going to read what it does, but if you'd like to, I'll pause a minute for it to read. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm moving some of these packs behind the camera to open them just because I have my arms positioned kind of awkwardly around this camera. Let's just hope that uh, there's a luminous brood moth inside that box stopper there to make up for these pulls. 
Ah, another bad card. Oh, God. Fraun Land Felidar. Uh, three to five with Vigilance. Christian Control of Vigilance have pay one to tap and tap Dark Creature. Oh, great. Cool. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've been hearing that, you know, I know it's true that the foil pull rates are up and you get about a billion foils per box, but it seems like they didn't apply that to foil rares. So, hopefully we'll get lucky, get a foil rare or mythic, but I'm not holding my breath on it. Any way to, any way they can make it seem like you're getting more, I guess, works for, works for them, but. Oh my god. Well, we got Netheroi. Netheroi. Uh, pretty disappointed. Um, you know, you can't win them all, I guess. Pretty mediocre card, in my opinion. Two colorless, white, black, green to play, four, four colorless, green, white, hybrid, black, black to mutate. It has death, touch, and life link. And whenever this creature mutates, return any number of tar creature cards with total power, time less from a graveyard to the battlefield. I guess that's all right. I'm just disappointed that it's not like a, it's not like a Vivian or something. Charge of the Forever Beast is the foil. I'm just a little disappointed. After seeing uh, Mike's pulls, I'm pretty jealous because I've lost money and he only made it on his box. Again, we still have that box topper over there, so there's still a chance this box can be redeemed, but it's not looking good whatsoever. Huntmaster Liger. Oh, God. The turtle. Trample Haste cycling for one red. When you cycle it, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard if you cycle the card. For, oh, so you have to hope to do this four times and then you get them. Oh, great. Sorry, I'm a little, a little salty that these pulls have been so mediocrely bad. Like, is it just me or has this been the, one of the, probably one of the worst Ikoria boxes you're going to see open on YouTube? Like, I can't even be near the $100 I paid for this booster box. There's no way. Okay, another guy, Ruta. I, you know, most people get mad about getting repeating cards. I'm pretty satisfied because I really want to build that Pioneer deck. I think this is a sweet companion. Now, foil guy Ruta would be would be would be stellar, to be honest. Ah, uh, another companion. This one has to do with activated abilities. I'll pause it there so you can read it. Pretty. Man, it's a busted mechanic, but there's definitely some stinkers among them. I don't think that one's a bad. Um, that one's pretty sweet with a Kenrith deck. Uh, five color Kenrith, the Return King. But, besides the point, not a good financial hit. Another Triumph. Cool, the Mardu one. I wish I got more of these. I wonder if there's like three per box or what the average on these is. If someone knows, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to know the average triumphs because I got one uh, special art one in my bundle. And so we're getting down to the last few packs and there's one on the floor that I have to pick up another. We'll save that for last. It's probably the power pack. Bonders Enclave. Okay. Tap to our colorless. Draw a car three to tap. Draw a card. Activate this ability. Only if you control a creature with power four greater. That's not bad. That's pretty solid. Let me straighten this out. Piles are getting a little messy. But 
that's a that's pretty good. Pretty good land. What do you guys think about Fierce Guardianship? Uh, I ended up getting lucky and getting a Timeless Wisdom deck on Amazon. Oh, yeah, okay. That's good. You know, that feels good. Luminous Brood Moth. Okay, I am satisfied. I need that for my deck anyways. You know what? This box isn't a total loss. I don't know all the financial value of everything in this set, but I know that was, like, a pretty pricey card before this was uh, set was spoiled. Speaking of Mike having crazy luck, we went to uh, we went to Walmart, and um, Mike ended up buying a collector booster, just one, and he ended up getting full art uh, luminous brood moth and a foil Luris. I was like, wow, that's that's a pretty solid uh, that's a pretty solid collector booster, I think. Oh, I love this card. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the art on this? Mike, I traded Mike for a foil one earlier. Oh, so sweet. I love spiders and magic. Have horrible arachnophobia in real life, but I love spiders and magic. General Kudro, okay. A five mythic box, huh? Well, Mike was looking for this because he wants to build a Jirena in Commander. Oh, looks like we're getting out of focus. Let's see if I can focus. Okay. It's General Kudro. All right, this box has been saved. Um, I'm satisfied. Five Mythics is nothing to scoff at. With Luminous Broodmoth, I needed that for for my Cathrill deck. So I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I can't be mad. And General Kudro is a good card. A really good way to fight Luris from what I hear. Another Dranith Magistrate. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be mad at that. I've, I've wanted to build... I played CEDH Brago stacks for a while. And maybe I'll go back to building a stacks deck. Uh, that card's pretty mean, though. So... Maybe I'll play Lavinia or something. Or Grand Arbiter. Just be really annoying. Skull Prophet. Love this card, too. Sweet! Another Triome. This is the Sultai Triome. Really cool. Really, really cool. Again, guys, I apologize for, uh, for, uh, opening these behind the camera. I guess you get to hear them a little better, but it's hard to open these in front of the camera. I'm just not good at it. This is uh, our first box opening video. Oh, sweet! This is the Triome I was looking for. That's four Triomes. Plain Swamp Forest. That's the uh, that's the Abzan one. Oh, <gasps> oh my God! That's a f mythic foil, Vadrock. Oh, you guys, can you see this? The cameras. Look at this thing. A foil mythic. Okay, this box. I I I, I talked on you too soon. Any box that has a foil mythic, and this is a pretty good one. This is when a creature mutates, you may cast a not creature card with permanent cost three less from a graveyard without paying its. Oh my god, that's that's a great card. Okay. Uh, the Magic Gods, Mark Rosewater, and Gavin Verhey must have, uh, they must have blessed this box. Because that's pretty exciting. I wish it was a Luna, because I like her a little better, but... You know, I'll take Vadrock. I really like, really like Vadrock, too. Hunted Nightmare? Okay. Uh, okay, just a decent card. Oh, that's a pretty foil planes. If you can see that. Sorry, my paws are getting a little messy. So I lied. Uh, I guess I, we won't have another power pack except for seeing what's inside this uh, this box topper over here. 
And guys, uh, take don't be don't be too mad. This is not going to be an edited video. I don't have access to the editing computers. Oh, we got Kogla, Kogla. I don't have access to an editing computer right now, and my PC still needs some work, even though I recently built it. So we're working with my camera, my laptop, uploading this to YouTube. Um, nothing really. Nothing really uh, exciting, like, no exciting editing, and I know my editing's not usually super exciting, but that's why we bought, we brought on a new guy to help out with that. Obosh, okay. Esp Espen will probably want that, because he was building a gruel stompy deck, and with that, and, uh, Pioneer. And then the Trample Tribal Boy. Let's see that. Alright, well, we have one more pack. It's this one right here. I'll try to open this with my camera. Then we have the box topper. I almost forgot about that. Okay. Slither Wisp. Pretty unexciting card. I'm going to stand up. We'll open this box topper together. All right. Say in the comments now, what do you guys think it is? Alright. Oh, no way! No way! That's the Space Godzilla death word I can't say on YouTube, and I just dropped it. No way. You guys believe that? No way. That is absolutely insane. Well, guys, uh, we ended up with Death Corona, or sorry, Death of uh, That. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six mythic box, including a foil, and the Death, uh, you know, Mouth Breath. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a subscribe. Uh, please like and share this video. Uh, we're going to try to cut the time down on these videos. It's our first one, so we look forward to seeing you guys. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.